can see, I'm in a different location. That's because there's something going on with my room and I can't really film there right now. So I'm filming downstairs and I'm in my study room. But as you can see, I also have some pretty cool books down here. I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And today I'm going to be doing another book review. I'm going to be reviewing P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. I was so, so, so excited to read this book. Oh my gosh. So in case you didn't know, P.S. I Still Love You is a sequel to the book To All the Boys I Loved Before. And this basically follows the story of this girl, Lara Jean, um, and she writes out these letters to boys that she has crushes on. And one day all the letters are mailed out. And this is basically like the story of what happens after all the boys who she's had crushes on get the letters that she wrote to them when she was younger. For a full book review of To All the Boys I Loved Before, I will leave a link to my um, review of that book in the description bar below. But in P.S. I Still Love You, this continues from To All the Boys I Loved Before, and it's basically the story after um, what happens in To All the Boys I Loved Before, and it follows Lara Jean and Peter and their struggle to see if they can make a relationship not kind of bounded by a contract and to see if they can make it work when it's just them and their true feelings for each other. Unfortunately, there's a lot more drama in this one because in case you didn't read Tell the Boys a little before, something happened and it basically spread some rumors and there's a lot of drama about that in this book. And Lara Jean is basically struggling with that, how she can deal with this sudden newfound kind of fame, I suppose you can say, because suddenly everyone knows her and they're desperately trying to figure out how to control that situation as well as control control the situation between her and Peter because there's also some drama with Peter and Genevieve who is um, Peter's ex-girlfriend so in general I would say this book was filled with a lot of drama I'm not sure how I felt about that exactly just because I really just wanted some more fluff you know tell the boys I love before it was just so cute and it was such a cute romance book and I just really really liked it and then in this book I just didn't know there's some parts where I just didn't like it. It was a bit too slow. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I'm not sure. I wasn't sure what I was reading. I wasn't sure if I liked it. So there was a lot of, I would say, uncertainty regarding my feelings for this book. But I do know that it was still a pre or, or, like a really good book. I would say I preferred Tell the Boys I Love Before. Um, I don't know. I like that book a lot better than this one. I can guarantee that. But that doesn't mean that this was not a bad book. In general, I thought this book was a bit too slow and the end was definitely rushed. I was left kind of puzzling over what happened. I didn't really know what was happening and I didn't really, I wasn't really sure, like, did I have to figure this out myself? And it was just a bit unclear. But the rest of the book was just really, really good and there are great moments, lots of small moments where I was just freaking out and fangirling so much and those were the parts that just made me think like, this is the Jenny Han that I know. And I wanna point out, Jenny Han has a really good way of writing where you just feel empathetic for all the characters. And I'm saying like all the characters, Lara Jean, you know, Peter, Kitty, Margot, Josh, it's even Genevieve. You just feel a certain amount of empathy for all of them because she creates such such detailed stories and histories for every single character that at one point in the book you will feel a genuine sense of empathy for all of them. And that's what I really like about Jenny Han because she doesn't make it the set bad guy and the set good guy. They're all intricate, well-developed characters and I just love reading about them so much and that goes for any Jenny, Jenny Han book, um, really. Some people that annoyed me were Kitty, some moments she was just so spoiled and rude and just came off as so annoying and pushy and I didn't like her but of course she was just a little sister character but still I don't know I just didn't really like her a lot but I mean in the first book she was a bit more like you could deal with her a little bit more but in this book it was just like no kitty you stop that and she was just annoying annoying a lot but I mean whatever She's still the little sister figure in the book and it is understandable. But then there was also Peter because Peter, the thing is with, with Peter, he did have great moments where he was just so amazing to Larry Jean and just like the perfect boyfriend. But then there are also moments where it's just like, Peter, what are you doing? You're messing up so much. Don't do that. And I just, I went back and forth with Peter in this book. Even though in the first book, I really, really, really loved Peter. In the first book, I mean, it's... Hmm, Peter, 
I liked him. I really, really liked him because he just seemed like the perfect guy for Lara Jean. But then in this book, they're just moments. And I, although in the end you figure out that it's, you know, there are all these misunderstandings, but still there are moments where he could have done better. And especially this one moment, like with Valentine's Day, it's like, why Peter, why? No, don't do that. And again, I'm doing my best to keep this spoiler free, so. Yeah, sorry if it's a bit unclear. But there's just moments where I went back and forth with Peter and then I had many more doubts in this book about Peter. And then we have John. John Ambrose McLaren. <sighs> he is another one of the boys that um, Lara Jean wrote a letter to. In case you did read To All The Boys I Love Before, just to jog your memory, she um, he's the one that she went to the UN Model Congress thing. Um, meeting and she he was the boy that she was like oh like I remember him but I didn't say hi to him so yeah I mean and that's the same boy and what happened was he comes back into the story and then he kind of ruins like the ship between Lara Jean and Peter because suddenly it's like a love triangle with Peter and Lara Jean and John and it's like who's she gonna go with because John is such a great candidate too honestly because like he was so nice to her and so sweet and you can tell he really 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 loves her and oh my god ah, oh my gosh I'm sorry Peter and Lara Jean fans I I ship Lara Jean and John I'm sorry. No, actually, I'm not sorry. Peter messed up way too much. But he's just, I just, he never messed up. He was always so sweet to Lara Jean. He was with, he was there for her throughout everything. In that part in the book with John, and he was all dressed up for the, for the party. And it's like, <gasps> swoon, swoon, swoon. But as you can tell, there's a lot of emotions. But that's the great thing about this book because Jenny Han does such an amazing job about making you feel so happy and sad and angry and just all these feelings, all these strong emotions for all the characters. And that's what I really, really love about Jenny Han. I mean, this book, I'm going to have to give it four out of five stars. The only reason is because it was a bit too slow for me. The end was too rushed and some of the parts I just didn't like. But besides that, great, great, great book. I think it was a it was a pretty good sequel to Tall the Boys I Love Before. I think it pretty much met my expectations. I was hoping for a little more, I'm not sure what, maybe a little more fluff, a little more of interactions, because this was all like angst and drama. But besides that, it was a really good book. If you read Tall the Boys I Love Before, I feel like you would really enjoy this anyways as a sequel. Overall, it was a really good book and I would recommend that you go out and you buy it. Make sure you read Tall the Boys I Love Before first because it is a duology um, between this and that book and P.S. I Still Love You. So make sure you go out and read that before you pick up this one. But yeah, that's my book review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be filming another video right after this, so it's gonna be like the same setting and the same everything. So just sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this book review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My good reads will be linked down below. I will be putting down a link to this book as well in the description box. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and bye-bye.